In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the speed ramping feature in CapCut for Windows. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So this is a CapCut for Windows interface and I do have my media already imported and I'll just add these to the track. So I've got my video. It's about 37 seconds long uh, for this. Now to use the speed ramping feature in CapCut, uh, you'll need to click your video and once you get these options here, click on speed. Once you click on speed, there's the option for the normal where you can adjust uh, the speed for this based on what you want. Uh, but let's uh, leave it at uh, one times. That's the default. That's the normal. So uh, you'll see different options here, but to use the speed ramping feature, just click on curve. And from this section, you'll notice that we have the option of none selected. If I click on customized, you'll get the option to customize how fast or slow you want your clip to move. If you click on the presets available, there are six, montage, hero time, bullet, jump cut, flash in, flash out. If I click on montage, our clip is going to reduce from 38 seconds to 26 seconds. Now, if I scroll down slightly, you'll see different adjustment points available here for you to use. So if I actually play this video, you'll notice that the video will speed up here, slow down, and then again come back to normal so let's play there we go look at this and then the video starts speeding up the car is going to speed up there we go and then start slowing down slowing down and then it starts going back to normal as we want it to be so that's probably uh, if you wanted to use that particular feature right there or this particular preset uh, you can use that if I click on hero time, this reduces our uh, clip or duration to 21 seconds. And you can see it here. This is what it looks like. You can make any changes you want to the adjustment points here. Uh, change uh, the way you want. Uh, we can just click on redo to get it back to the original. And then we can just play this slightly. Look at how it speeds up very fast and then slows down, slows down. And then it's going to pick up again, picks up again at that point, shoop, and then slows down back to normal. Looks good. Really depends on what kind of uh, cinematic takes you want to, uh, to make your video look like. But that is the speed ramping feature. And as for the customize, you can actually come up here. If you're redoing or using uh, multiple, you would like to use your own customized speed ramp template, you can just click on that. And then from this section, uh, you can just click on this at that particular section just uh, adjust it the way you want it to be uh, you can just keep going up and down up and down uh, it all depends on what you want and if we actually play this goes up slows down and then speeds up again and then slows down looks really good uh, for you uh, and then you can click on smooth slow-mo if you wanted to do all those things frame blending or optical flow longer time better quality it really depends but simply put uh, that's how you can create your own customized speed ramp uh, and then uh, using the six presets but that is how you can use the speed ramping feature in CapCut for windows thanks for watching this video my name is david and until next time stay safe and never stop learning